Standing on a beautiful field today where a special test will be carried out by the team from Kuhn. Three days ago the crop was mowed and then it was raked as you can see. In a moment it will be built into round bales with this baler wrapping combination behind me. They will use two different wrapping methods and compare them with each other, but more about that later. Mr. Roosterburg is a specialist of the Eurofins laboratory and takes samples of the crop that will be built. This is a zero measurement that is needed to draw conclusions about the feed quality when further testing is done in a few weeks and a few months time. At this time, the bale is produced and then the net comes around it. When the baler ejects the bale, the wrapper starts wrapping it with film. Look, now you can see clearly that the net is tightly wrapped around the bale and that the wrapper comes into action. It wraps a total of six layers of film around it. This group of bales with net binding and six layers of wrapping film is now ready. The team is going to adjust the machine for the next group of bales. Can you see those film rolls tilting? So no net is used for these bales, but film is wrapped around them immediately after baling. Next, the bales are wrapped using a special 3D technique. Here too, the film roll is tilted horizontally first to draw two extra layers of film around the bale, even around the edges. Then the rolls start wrapping vertically again. So now have a look at this film bound bale. As you can see, it's even more tight and more angular than a net bound bale. In six weeks time, I will come back here and an expert from Eurofins will examine the quality. Today, Eurofins Agro will return to take samples of the bales. I'm curious to see what the test results are. Samples are taken from both groups of bales for accurate testing. Each bale is sampled eight times, four times to determine the feed value and four times to determine the preservation. The samples are kept separately per bale. The samples are now taken to the Eurofins Agro Laboratory, where they will be analyzed. Let's see how that works. Bob, can you explain to me what happens to the grass inside of the bale after it's built and wrapped? Yeah, it's really important that after you have made the bale, 
you wrap it as, as soon as possible because uh, once it's, it's been built it immediately starts its conservation process and you want to get the air out as, uh, as soon as possible. So the first couple of weeks bacteria will start um, working on the bales and during the first four to six weeks a lot of things are happening and the bill is starting to conserve and after six weeks um, we can say that the, the bill is stable and can be stored for over a longer period of time because the um, conservation has been well more or less completed after six weeks yes yeah, yeah. and how important is it that the bill is sealed airtight the bad bacteria don't get a chance yeast don't get a chance most don't get a chance and then you can store it for a really really long period of time and what is a really long period of time i would say a year or two years and what can you say about the feed quality in the bales? What really strikes me is that, that the, the dry matter content is not that, that weird for bales, but for the um, uh, bacteria or the, the acidity in the, in the bales, which, uh, which is quite low, and that could indicate that the, it was really airtight. Mm -hmm. And overall, the, the feed quality of the, of the two test groups were, were pretty good. Yep. So do you see a big difference between the test groups? For these two samples we've analyzed for, for Kuhn, I can't really tell a big difference. Um, both have a well conserved, so the preservation is good. Kuhn has also done this test last year. Can you tell me a bit more about the test from last year? They did that with cover crop with a dry matter which was really lower. And there indeed we saw differences. With the net bound bills we saw a bit of a higher Bad bacteria, mm -hmm. and with the only film and no net, we saw the, only the good group of bacteria. For those two, we really saw a difference in there. And there I could say that the preservation of the one with film only was, um, was better than uh, with net. So even with one layer less of wrapping, the film-bound bill was still better? In that particular uh, test, so when the dry matter is lower, there we could see a difference that the film-bound ones are better, but when it's drier, I couldn't really see a difference and you could say that they're both equally and well preserved. preserved. Yes. Yeah. Bob, thank you for your clear explanation. You're welcome.